Hey guys, so if you hear people in the background, it's my mom and my grandma. Um, they think I'm crazy because I'm talking to, they think I'm talking to myself, but I'm making a video. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a review on the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Eyeshadows because I know they have pigments out now and I haven't tried them so I can't give you a review on them, but once I do get some, I will do a review. The two colors I have are Badge of the Bronze and barely branded. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is the packaging. I actually like the packaging and they look really, really, um, they look very nice. They look very sleek. I mean, the glass doesn't bother me whatsoever. They're, they're not going to break. I've dropped these. They don't break. Um, it's possible that they would break, but mine haven't yet. And I've had this one since February. Um, this is my first color, and, uh, Barely Branded was my first color, and it's just a very nice champagne color. It's very, it works very nice for an inner corner highlight, or you can actually highlight your face with this if you're kind of my skin tone or just a little bit darker. Um, I think I'm about in the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. I'm in N5, so, um, if you guys can... The Studio Fix powder is different than all of the other ones because that sounds like I'm really, really pale, but it's just the color. Um, but I'm going to give you guys a little swatch. Um, this is not an insanely pigmented cream shadow. Th this one right here, just because it's so light and very champagne colored. But that's it. And these things last all day. My eyeshadow, when I use these, my eyeshadow always looks the bomb.com after eight hours and I have very oily eyelids very like, oily skin but this is just a really really nice color and you can highlight your face with this very versatile and if you're wanting to get one I would just say pick this one up because you can use it for highlight all over the lid but I don't really like really really light colors on my eyelid I like them more as a highlight and then I have my you could highlight your brow bone you could highlight your cheekbones your nose forehead chin Cupid's bow. You can put this on your lips. This is just a really, really versatile color. And again, that is barely branded. So, yeah. And then I have Bad to the Bronze. They both have the same lasting power. Um, they don't crease on me, personally. I have used this. I've used this with a push liner brush and just kind of lined my upper lash line or lower lash line. This is it's pretty pigmented. I mean, it's not insanely pigmented, but it is pretty pigmented. I mean, it's that's it. Barely branded, back to the bronze. My iPad's not going to pick it up very well. I'm trying to sort out my lighting, guys. Just give me a little while. Um, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to post, figure out if I can take a good picture of these and post it to Instagram. But um, what I have found is this looks really, really nice under Urban Decay's Smog or the crease color on the left side of the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. They're base. They're those two are dupes for each other, but this looks really, really nice under Urban Decay Smog or that color. Um, it just gives it a bit more dimension, and those are Smog is one of my favorite colors out of the Naked palette. So these two are perfect pairs if you're looking for a base for Smog. If you like bought it in a single or you just haven't used it much and you want to figure out how to use it, this would be a really, really nice base to give it a bit more life and a little bit more dimension because they're both very bronzy, very kind of warm tones um they just look absolutely gorgeous together so if you're going to if you're looking for a base for smog or anything similar badge to the bronze is going to be your bet and i love the names to these i just these are really really nice cream eyeshadows and i give these an a i mean they don't crease on me personally they aren't too drying they don't like but they do dry very fast not dry up, but dry on your lids very fast, so you kind of have to be careful. If you want to blend them out, you got to blend them out before they set. Yep, so that's pretty much my review. Overall, these are an A, and um, yeah, so please rate, comment, subscribe. I am on Instagram if you want me to check me out. I'm at SavvyMakeup13, and the same on Twitter. I don't have a Facebook. If you guys want me to make one, put it in the down bar below. Bye, guys!